is going on guys so today is the first day of this series and we'll be starting our watch one to two maybe even if we're lucky three marvel movies a week and i do a sort of like a reaction to movies what i think and we're gonna put them in a ranking of my favorites to least favorite and we're gonna do this not in chronological order but in release date order so we can see how movies get better as time goes on and maybe there's a correlation. I mean, there's definitely a correlation, but you, you'll see what I mean. Anyway, so today the first movie is X-Men. The list should be right here. And yeah, so I'll see you guys after I finish watching X-Men. Okay, I finished the movie. I took a break because I had to make this tier list. So it's not like, it's still fresh in my mind, but it's not like, I'm gonna, there. This is my opinion on it. I like the movie a lot. Well, not a lot, but... For what it is for the movie it is it, in the time it came out i think it's really good um and overall i would give the movie a solid six out of ten right i would put this movie to be honest let's scroll down i don't know why there's two i messed up but it's i would give it a solid c tier movie it's the middle of the road marvel movie i mean it's not the best movie but it's not the worst and I really like how they do Logan. I really like how they did the intro. I really like the um, like comparison that how the X-Men have always sort of been like, and I know I might offend a couple people when I say this, but like X-Men's always kind of dealt with racism, but throughout the X-Men, I don't know why I have that like that. And so because of that, I really enjoyed the movie. I like seeing its dynamic plays in the society that we are in today. And I also like to compare and contrast between uh, Charles and Eric, or if you don't know him, Professor X and Magneto. And I think it's a good comparison because as we see Charles, he's taking the pacifist route, right? He, he believes that these humans, they will accept them eventually, right? But Eric, he's trying to be more aggressive. He knows he feels like there's a war coming and he wants to be on the upper side, right? He wants to be the one in control of everything because he fears that the humans will take them out, that they will try to kill the mutants. And we see this sort of not trying to kill them, but trying to like get them to register themselves um, uh, as like weapons. And we hear um, uh, Senator Kelly talking to the, talking to people and saying, these mutants, they're worse than guns. They have like 10 times the power of guns, blah, 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 and they should be registered. And while I see where he's coming from, I see how the movie's trying to take it, I find it very interesting the way that Magneto tries to like stop this from happening by being offensive. He's not trying to be defensive, he's trying to be offensive to stop the attack. He wants to stop it before it even happens, no matter the cost. And I really like how Magneto is sort of like Thanos in this situation, because when he is trying to like show Rogue what he's doing, he's like, I'm okay to make this small sacrifice for the betterment of humanity, or not humanity, but for the betterment of mutants, to show that we, to basically make everyone mutants, so that way no one can really be afraid of them at that point, I guess. I don't fully understand his method, but I see where he's going with it. And that's why I think this movie is really good. And overall, like I said, I'll give like a 6 out of 10. And so the next movie we're going to be doing is X-Men 2. Post-editing Isaac here. So I made a small mix-up. We're going to be doing the first variants of X-Men 2. I'm going to upload this. And yeah, but there's one thing I will say though. Does anyone else feel like the intro? And I'll play the intro like right here i don't know why i'm doing the hand thing it won't be like on the screen right there but does anyone else feel like the intro sort of sounds a bit like morgan freeman talking mutation it is the key to our evolution it has enabled us to evolve from a single-celled organism into the dominant species on the planet this process is slow normally taking thousands and thousands of years but every few hundred millennia evolution leaps forward like you know it's patrick stewart but it's like it sounds a bit like Morgan Freeman. Well, anyways, thank you for watching this video. Um, leave any likes, dislikes, comments. Tell me what your rating of this movie would be. And I'll see you in the next rating.